morning and welcome to the investiture of the barony of Bronzelm live here in the kingdom of Artemisia. Their majesties, Damon and Veronique, invite all of their populace to join them in the many magical ways that we have provided for you. This morning in their majesty's court, they invite their excellencies of Bronzehelms to join them. We were right there and already seated. Did you want, you can ask them if you want, they're right there. I think they're gonna join. Their majesties would invite their excellencies of 1000 eyes to join them. We are here. Thank you. There you go. There, there we are. are. Thank you, Your Majesties. May we uh, join your court. Thank you, Your Excellencies. Their Majesties invite into their court their Excellencies of Sentinel's Keep. Hey. Good morning, Your Majesties. Uh, your permission to join your court. I think they nodded. You're good. Okay. Thank you, Your Excellencies. <laughs> Their Majesties are sad that Her Excellency of Arnhold, Arnhold could not join them today, but uh, Their Excellencies of Griffin's Lair are here, Your Majesties. Your Majesties, good morning. Good morning, populace. May we please attend court with you? Thank you, Excellencies. Their Majesties of, or I'm sorry, their, yeah, Their Majesties, we're good. I think that's it, right? That's everybody. And Their Majesties invite their fantastic populace to make themselves comfortable in the best possible way you can. Hopefully you're all warm and cozy in your homes. Uh, I see an awful lot of shoes over there at the Barony of Bronzehelm. Oh, did I forget? I'm so sorry. Their Majesties also invite their Excellencies of Luxolin. <laughs> Hello, uh, permission to join the court? I thought it was interesting. We were after that before yeah, that. sorry. That was totally me. That was uh, a whole me. 100% me. So thank you, Your Excellencies of Loxolin, for not murdering me. Your Majesties, uh, I that's apparently my one today. That's going to be it. But herein opens the court of Their Majesties. Pray heed the words of the crown. Good morning, Artemisia. Thank you for joining us and thank you for your patience with us this morning as in all things in our never ending uh, reign of epic, challenges are ever rising and we are ever trying to vanquish them. So they are vanquished. We're ready to move on with our morning and we are super excited to be able to share this event with you today. Uh, we're very excited to be a part of the second investiture of the Barony of Bronze Helm. This is a very exciting day for us. Um, it's, it's, this is our reign of investitures. So um, before this reign, we'd never done one and now we're doing almost all of them. So it will be a busy, exciting day. Um, though I did wanna take a, a quick moment here at the beginning. Um, recently, we lost one of ours, uh, Decker Hawkswood. Um, he was one of the first knights I ever met in the SEA. He was the, um, in my world, one of the original spear gods that I ever met. Um, he was, I was full of life and he was one of the, uh, he was the person that bought, brought Bowen on the list field to our tradition in the kingdom of Artemisia. And as many of our knights, that's one, that's definitely one of our favorite traditions. So every time I every time I hear that song, I think of Decker, and now I will always think of Decker. Um, he's it's just one of those years. So um, thank you, Decker. We love you. We miss you. Hope you're having a great time on the other side. Okay, right, on, on to business. Let's get the day going. 
Thank you, Your Majesty, for those kind words for one of our fallen. This morning, their majesties have business with Sir Killian Calway. We do. I hear that's a thing, majesties. It's a thing. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Awesome. This is super weird. We have like a person. This right? is this is like just this hasn't happened in like a year. It's pretty cool. No, you're great. I'm hiding now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I disappeared. That was awesome. So, why are you here? I hope you know why I you're have here. Many reasons. <laughs> here today, Your Majesty. Okay, well that's better than my wife said so. So that's that's really a good start. Um we know part of the reason that you are here today is to take on uh, the, the barony and all the fun, joy, and work. Let me not lie to you, work that that involves. Uh, we also know that you have served for quite a time as our local night marshal. We know that you can forever be found in the kitchen or toting and carrying or toting and carrying on the way to the kitchen or any number of things. We know that you are a shining example of grace and courtesy and are doing a wonderful job of teaching those who are following you to be that same shining example. And so we felt that it was necessary that that hard work be recognized. Hey, Fia. Let it be known to all that we, Damon and Veronique, do recognize the many acts of service performed by our loyal subject, Killian Calloway. His work demonstrates the values held dear by our great kingdom of Artemisia, and therefore we now see fit to name him a member of the Order of the Golden Sun in Splendor. May he continue on this noble path of service as he brings honor to his barony and kingdom done this ninth day of January, Anna Societatis 55, being the year 2021 Gregorian, Damon Rex, Veronique Regina. Thank you, Majesties. No, thank you. <laughs> um, the, despite all, all the work and responsibilities that you are picking up today, this is a recognition of what you have done. And I was, I was there to teach, I was there to help, I was there to open up the garage to help anybody uh, with armor repairs or learning how to learning how to make armor or trying to get a forge going or just any of the thousand different projects that you have going at any given time. Um, a, a small token of our thank you for that. Thank you. Your Majesties, good populace for the newest member of the Order of the Golden Sun and Splendor, Vivat. Vivat! 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 Yay! Also, that uh, beautiful scroll that I don't know if you guys there in the heart of Bronze Elm saw was created or completed by uh, Honorable Lady Pearware. Beautiful oh, scroll. Gorgeous. Your Majesties, I believe. Look at it one of these days. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, he can watch it on the live repeat when I post it to YouTube. Exactly. Majesties. <laughs> uh, Majesties, I believe you also have business with another individual this morning. We do. Yes, we you do. You do. May I call forth Her Excellency, Mistress Penelope Hightower? <laughs> The thing is, I'm sure her face is like, ah, oh, you guys, really? Yeah, she, she was <laughs> totally taking a drink at the moment. <laughs> Please. Hi, pretty lady. Hey. What you doing? You know, enjoying the day with my friends. Hooray, <laughs> friends. So you are here for an entirely different reason than your husband, although you've obviously been recognized for your extensive service to the kingdom in, in many various ways. We felt that there was an area that you are lacking in recognition. This wonderful lady has been a spearhead in our area behind silk banner painting. Okay. 
she has her scroll work has come leaps and bounds in such a short period of time it's gotten really quite good she is forever sewing something um, the gorgeous hoods that you see her and her husband wearing those have been sewn by her as well as the mantle that our bard the bronze helm bard will be wearing once they uh, once they receive that honor um, and she's just been a busy busy artisan and we looked into the roles and we noticed something's missing. Yep. Ten good gentles, one and all, hear these words of praise and commendation. We, Veronique, queen and patroness of the arts, and Damon, king of Artemisia, have the great duty and privilege to recognize those whose skill and knowledge of the arts increases the beauty of our fair land. Penelope Highfield has greatly added to the splendor of our realm. We are pleased to award unto her the golden maple leaf. Done before these assembled this ninth day of January, Anno Societox 55 being the year 2021 Gregorian, Damon Rex Veronique, Regina, scroll by Sophia Ivers' daughter. Yes, your arts have come so far in this that it is, we realized that there weren't any recognition for it. We figured we'd start here. Um, you're amazing and a rock star. And we know that you know that because we tell it to you all the time. <laughs> And we promise we'll sign that as in person and actual touching of scrolls has not been a thing for a while. We may not have been able to find a pen, but right. we'll fix it. At least I not know. one that was working. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good populace and their majesties for the newest member of the Golden Maple Leaf. Vivat! 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 French. Majesties. Yes, ma'am. I believe there is a slight, slight bit of business that needs to be attended to there in the barony. I I don't remember any. I mean, no. that's cool. We can end right now. Yeah, no, we I think we're good for the day, right? That's cool. <laughs> Herein not. <laughs> Do their excellencies of Bronze Helm have any business today? We do. Here it is, open to the court of their excellencies, Baron Till and Baroness Isbo of Bronze Helm. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. This has been a great. Um, a great time these last three years. We've just uh, enjoyed serving the barony and uh, it's been wonderful. And uh, I'm happy for our new uh, Baron and Baroness to step up and, and I think they will have also a great time at this uh, wonderful uh, position. Yeah, we want to thank everyone here in the barony for their support and throughout the kingdom. Um, it's bittersweet for us, but it's been a wonderful time. <laughs> okay. Your Excellency, permission to address the populace? Absolutely. Hello, I am Ron Willett, Your Majesties. I'm the autocrat for this event. Uh, today, not only do we have this amazing investiture happening, uh, we will have a series of classes. There are two tracks. Uh, the links are posted uh, on our event page itself. Uh, we've got a class on uh, veterinary skills. We have a class on Ukrainian egg dyeing. We have a class on set. We have a class on nail binding. And we have a class on the history of dormants. That'd be amazing fun time. Um, we are, I, I can't look at you, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we want to thank everybody. Uh, if there's any issues, 
feel free to message me, ping me in the magic box, and I will address them as quickly as possible. Um, also at this time, as Baronial Seneschal, I would like to announce that my position is now open. Uh, there are new excellencies and Kingdom Seneschals and Majesties uh, are able to collect any letters of intent from now until February. Uh, the, the date is going to be February 9th that they're looking for. I will remain in this position and through the month of May, at which time I will bring that train whoever is going to step in and fill some position. Um, I believe that's it. I believe so. Thank you. At this time, their Excellencies Till and Ispo would like to release their champions. Their champions are Damon, Our Majesty. I would like to release you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to the Verity. <laughs> Your Majesty. Very kind of you, Your Excellency. Uh, show the kingdom will appreciate no. it. They have some other duties. Um, it, it, it was my honor to be your heavy weapon champion, um, not only this time, but uh, both times. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say the rest of my piece later. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thank you. They <laughs> would also like to release the Rookie champion. Uh, his Lord Jibai, and they would also like to release Ramut from being the Arts and Science Champion. Thank you for your service. Alias. Alias. And they would also like to release Alias from uh, the Bardic Champion at this time. There will be scrolls for disabled helms for all the outgoing champions that will be delivered. Do you want to read the wording for this table home and announce everyone that will receive one? <laughs> or two? <laughs> Sorry, your parent is loading. Right? Everybody that is getting at least one or two yeah. stable helms. I will make it. Perfect. <laughs> Be it known to all, for all the outgoing champions, have dutifully served the Barony of Gautel. And as such, it is the honor of Baron Till and Baroness Isabeau to recognize all the outgoing champions as a member of the Order of the Sable Helm. Done this ninth day of January. Uh, and as I thought, it was 54, being the year 2001 for Garrett. And the outgoing champions that are now members of the Order of the Sable Helm, His Majesty Damon, Lord Jim Lyon, Lord Elias, <laughs> Lady Ship Ramut, Milady Amina, His Lordship Jeffrey. Lord Gimli and his Lordship Magnus. Viva for all the outgoing champions and members of the Order of the Sable Helm. Viva! 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 At this time, the Excellencies would like to call for Cameron and Keaton uh, Ignat's sons. So we don't know if Ignat is on the line, but we received part of the amazing things their, their children did. So, um, Ramut, if you would like to tell the story. <clears throat> this year, we had a polling for our next Baron and Baroness. And at that time, all members who are paid members for the Barony were eligible to vote. Two of those members, being the children, Cameron and Keaton voted, but in their vote, they did not feel it was right to pick one person because it's not fair when somebody feels left out. <laughs> so as a courtesy, they voted for every eligible candidate on the polling. As they showed, 
with this action, not with their great heart, but consideration and courtesy for all of the candidates, we felt that we should recognize them. <laughs> Do we have Ignan on the line or his children? Yes. Wonderful. Perfect. Often, we recognize members for their prowess, grace, skill, knowledge, generosity, and service. It is, however, equally important to recognize the roots of such qualities. As the tiny acorn contains the great oak, so do our youth contain the seeds of greatness. Nurturing those seeds will build a great forest of leaders in service to the dream. We, Till the Lucky, and we, Isabel de Rostel, Baron and Baroness of Bronzehelm, desire to recognize Cameron and Keaton as such youth. We wish to nurture that promise of greatness in you and help you grow into great oaks. We hereby induct you as members of the Order of the Acorn, proclaimed in our court this ninth day of January, Annus and Sagittatus 54, being the year 2021 in the Common Reckoning. Thank you. You guys are just so wonderful. And uh, I love every time we get to see you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you gen young gentlemen uh, more and more. <laughs> Thank you guys for being such wonderful. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome. We will come find you in the next few weeks to give you your award scrolls, okay? Order the Okay. Three cheers for the newest. Three cheers for you. Viva! 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 I can't speak either, but <laughs> we love you. You know that. Um, we've seen over the last two years your fighting prowess, your skill in the sword has been improving and improving beyond compare. And so to recognize you, and this was planned well before last weekend, <laughs> we wanted to, to make sure that we recognized you for that amazing skill that you possess and, and to know that we see you. You've just been growing so much. I mean, even just in these last three years, but your whole time that you've been in the SA, you've just been growing by leaps and bounds, and we're so very proud of you. So, rock can be shaped and hung with skill and effort. Rock is our solid foundation, it holds our history and provides the building material for the future. It is art, shelter, and weapon. The Order of the Rock was created to acknowledge those in Bronzehelm who excel in the arts of martial combat through effort, determination, service, and prowess, both protecting and enriching those within the barony. Thor Hall is one such individual. We, Till the Lucky, and Isabel Leorostel, Baron and Baroness of Bronzehelm, are honored to induct Thor Hall as a member of this order for his contribution to armored combat. Decreed this ninth day of January, Anna Societatis 54, the year 2021 in the Common Reckoning. Three cheers for our newest rock. Vivat! 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 <laughs> their Excellencies wish to call it to their court. Wilhelm. Is, is Willie online? Well, maybe not. That's okay. 
Yes, please. Yeah. <clears throat> there are individuals who enhance the barony through persistent effort, service, and devotion. The Order of the Anvil is meant to recognize those who consistently shape and support our steadfast and is immovable as the anvil beneath the blows of the hammer. They never waver from the weight of their duties and contributions. We, Till the Lucky, and Isabel de Rosto, Baron and Baroness of Bromtel, are honored to recognize Wilhelm as one such member in our barony. We name him a member of the Order of the Anvil, proclaimed in our court this ninth day of January, Anna Society 54, being 2021 Gregorian. Yes, uh, Wilhelm is just, he's been such a, a integral part of our barony. Um, he's teaching, he's artistic, he's just a wonderful person and he's um, just helped our, our barony um, grow and flourish. And I'm just proud to recognize him uh, for all that he's done. Three cheers for the newest Anvil Bronto. Vivat! 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 Their Excellencies would now call forth Lordship Lion and Lordship Ivan. I don't know if they're on. Ivan is here. Ivan is here. <clears throat> Ivan um, and Lion both are just such uh, great parts of our Lion's here. Community. And uh, hello, hello. I just want to uh, thank you for all that you've been, done. That helping the repair community grow and thrive. And it has been, it's it's just wonderful seeing how uh, advanced that the, our repair community has been getting. And uh, uh, I, I'm just very proud of you both. And so. Order of the rock. Rock can be shaped and hung with skill and effort. Once again, Rock is the solid foundation beneath our feet. It holds our history. It provides building material. It is our shelter and weapon. The Order of the Rock was created to acknowledge those in Brontum who excel in the arts of martial combat through effort, determination, service, prowess, while protecting and enriching those within the barony. Lordship Lion McKeegan and Lordship Ivan Zimgel are two such individuals. We, Till the Lucky, and Isabel de Arosto, Baron and Baroness of Bontem, are honored to induct Ivan and Lion as members of the Order of the Rock for their contribution in rapier combat. Decreed this ninth day of January, Anna Societatis 54, the year 2020, by the Common Remedy. Three cheers for our newest at this time, your excellencies would like to call forth Lady Heather. Oh, I don't, uh, <laughs> it's hard to know where to begin. I, I don't know if uh, uh, Lady Heather is on, but she is uh, the uh, what owner of this owner yeah. yeah of this uh venue that we have been allowed to use and she is just so uh welcoming and providing for us uh in such wonderful ways uh she's taking up rapier she's done so many things to uh, join us and and make us feel welcome and, oh just so many things um and so we just wanted to offer this little uh, acknowledgement for her. Bronson is blessed with individuals who bring a bounty of traits and skills to our barony. They enhance and beautify the dream. Whether it's their eagerness and positive attitude that they bring, or their grace and poise in all that they do, they make Bronson a better place. 
Heather is one such individual who brightens our dream with their contributions. It is with great pleasure that we, Baron Till and Baroness Isabeau, recognize Heather as the uh, next member of the recipient of the Brontown B. This award, with the blessing of their majesties, also comes with an award of arms. Done this ninth day of January, on the Societatis 54, the year being 2021 Gregorian. Three cheers for our newest Brontown B. Viva! Viva! Be 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 At this time, their excellencies wish to call for Lord Ulrich and Lady Rachel. <laughs> you two have been amazing for us. We love you for your children. Um, you've worked so hard to help us throughout our entire time as Baron and Baroness. You've been our lady in waiting. You've been a step in herald. You've set up, you've torn down. We don't know how to recognize you, so this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Being born into greatness, few are recognized for their lineage. Rachel Kling Miller and Ulrich von Pilet. <clears throat> How great is your father? <laughs> How great is your mother? Your father, skilled in the sword, holder of the golden apple, protector of the weak and companion to all. Your mother, skillful in the arts, Dedicated in giving, nurturing of this nascent barony, now a near impossible task lays before you. Will you become as great and worthy exemplars as they? By benefit of being our prodigy, we bestow upon you the accolade of sweet, sweet nepotism. <laughs> on this ninth day of January, and a society times 54, being the year 2021 common record. Okay, give me hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Love you so much. <laughs> and, and these rules actually are present, done by your mother and father. <laughs> Rachel, this is my little friend. This is not working. <laughs> touched on everything we wanted to say. <laughs> um, you have provided such great service to the barony over the years as, you know, our armored marshal. You you help, you hold offices, you're, you're there all the time. He's the beast of Ronzo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can carry both thrones <laughs> <laughs> at one time. <laughs> so we wanted to recognize you for all your service up to this point. Obviously, you're stepping into another completely <laughs> fulfilling service role, but um, we wanted to thank you. There are individuals who enhance our barony through their persistent effort, service, and devotion. The Order of Anvil is meant to recognize those who consistently shape and support our group, steadfast and as immovable as Anvil beneath the blows of the hammer. They never waver from the weight of their duties and contributions. We, Till the Lucky, and Isabel Lierosta, Baron and Baroness of Brontum, are honored to recognize Sir Killing Calloway as one such member of the barony. We name him a member of the Order of the Anvil, proclaimed in our court 
this ninth day of January, Anno Societatis 54, being 2021 Gregorian. I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for our newest anvil. Viva! 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 not only been seneschal this whole time, you've been our herald. You have <laughs> helped scribe, you've led scribes, made uh, scrolls, you've, you've done so many things. You've been lady in waiting for us as well. So um, we were talking what, a few months ago about how do you recognize those people that help the baronage so much? <laughs> so with you, we developed an amazing award and we would like to make you the premier. <laughs> Loud. You gotta yell. Louder. <laughs> 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 that works. There, you go. there are those whose service to the barony or to the Baron and Baroness stands out among the populace. Ramut Al Taiba is one such individual. We Baron Till the Lucky and Baroness Isabeau Leo Rosdell wish to acknowledge her for outstanding support and service. We therefore admit her to the Order of the Amber Fox. <laughs> <laughs> On this ninth day of January, Honest Society Titus, uh, 54 being. Um, oh, yeah, yes, I, <laughs> I didn't do the calligraphy, I'm sorry. <laughs> being 2021 in the Gregorian um, calendar. Scroll done by me and calligraphy done by Master Richard. So if you guys can't see that on screen, it's amazing um, and very personalized. So, yeah, yeah, she has so thank you so much, Ramut, for all you've done for us. We couldn't have asked for anything better. It's totally been amazing. <laughs> it's completely my pleasure and honor. Thank you. <laughs> For our newest Amber's box. Vivat. 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 We'll give her a moment. <laughs> Heart goals, you broke the herald. Yeah. <laughs> Your Excellency, is like me. It is time. It is. Thank you, everyone, for uh, this great ride. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Thank I you. guess at this time, we'll take our leave. And hope you find uh, great replacements for us. Uh, you may. I've, I've been vocal and adamant. Uh, you guys <laughs> never taking your leave. <laughs> At least not before the first decade was up. But since my plans did not go as, as planned, um, we we shall allow it. <sighs> um, if you would. Uh, um, <laughs> um, you both have done an amazing job, as we, we knew you would. 
Um, I've also been very vocal about you guys being the best choice as the premier Baron and Baroness of Bronze Helm, and you guys did not disappoint. Um, as time has no meaning anymore, about 11 or 12 years ago, <laughs> um, we already made sure that your, um, we're adorned with the perennial four nets that we felt you deserve them. Um, at this time, it is our great honor um, to recognize you as the first Baron and first Baron Baroness Bronze Helm. And those, those titles you will keep as being our premier. Um, you will always be uh, Baron Bronze Helm till lucky <laughs> and Baroness Bronze Helm is a vote. Um, Your Majesty. Uh, we, just as you've said over and over today, we couldn't have asked for anything more. <laughs> you have set an incredibly high bar and taken incredible care of our baby barony. It has flourished under your, under your tutelage and, uh, and we can't thank you enough for all the time and the love. And we expect it to continue even though you know, you think you get a vacation. <laughs> so we love you. Thank you. We totally voted for you. I voted for you this time, but they told me no. So um, enjoy your well-deserved retirement. To, to think um, 20 years ago, <laughs> if we could imagine us being here doing this, I... <laughs> I would not believe it, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, uh, we did not, um, we were not able to be in these positions to put you guys in those chairs as, as Timmer was. Um, but we are so happy to be a, be a part of seeing them pass over to the next. And we love you guys. Thank you for being absolute rock stars. Thank you. It's been a wonderful ride. <laughs> yeah. All right, Thea, for our outgoings. Good populace, your majesties, for the premier and now outgoing baron and baroness in the barony of Bronzehelm, Vivat. 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 Viva la mommy and Poppy! <laughs> <laughs>
Isabel. Did not go escape. far. <laughs> Didn't run fast enough, girl. Right. Hi, welcome back. Hi. You missed oh, us. Oh, yes. So, so as you can tell, one of our things, obviously today, is to say things over again. <laughs> um, I, I, I hear you've got a busy afternoon, even though you've you've gone into retirement. Yeah. I believe you're teaching this afternoon. I am. And what are you teaching this afternoon? Uh, the art of the Ukrainian egg. You are. And I know that you have been very busy block printing. Mm -hmm. And I know you have been very busy. What else have you been doing? You've been Sorry. doing calligraphy. Scrolls. Scrolls. Silk oh. banners. Oh, I was making garb. Garb. Because your husband always tears it up. <laughs> oh. So those just art and art and art and sharing of that art. I think you've taught at a majority of the events. I've seen quite a few classes from you in some form or another. All of them excellent, informative, and thank you. I now have more hobbies than I will ever need, but that's for my husband and I discuss later. <laughs> so as such, we felt that that wonderful work and that wonderful art deserve recognition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Proclaim, uh, just kidding, glorious art in elevating beauty to the highest form does ennoble all who come within its reach, both viewer and patron. But art does most benefit those who toil long hours in the pursuit of skill and expertise. Know that we, Damon and Veronique, king and queen of Artemisia and first patrons of the arts and sciences have been made aware of and have with our own eyes seen the accomplishments of our subject, Isabeau Leah Rostel, and recognize her fine talent in the arts. As is meet with such a subject, we do enter her into the ranks of our order of the key cross and confirm upon to her arms by grant done by our hands this ninth day of January. Anno Societatis 55 being the year 2021, Gregorian, Damon, Rex, Veronique, Regina, girl by Fia when she finishes it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank once you. again, just a small token of appreciation for all the amazing things that you make and do. Um, just, um, just all the spotlight we can give you, you deserve. You are absolutely amazing. For the newest, most benevolent, forgiving member of the Key Cross, Vivat! 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 Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, Majesties, um, we have an announcement to make about the Queen's Prize, Majesties. What? Yes, yes, yes we do. <laughs> Queen's Prize is up and rolling. Um, they are they're pushing really hard to make sure everybody gets all the sponsors, get their their peoples uh, registered, and uh, and going with that. That will take place in the morning at Mast Ball on the twenty third. Um, so please, 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 if this is something, if you are an artisan at all. We are super interested to see what you were doing. It's a great place to get feedback. It's a great place to get pointers. It is not a competition. So it's a really nice place to start. Um, if that is something that you feel apprehensive about at all. Um, so absolutely, if you're doing art, and I would hope you are since we've all seen you know, the four walls of our homes for an extended period of time, uh, get involved. Show it off. We want to see what you've been doing. Queen's Prize. If you need more information, please check out all of the various postings about it uh, in the social Facebooks, including Kingdom of Artemisia Unofficial, uh, Art, uh, Artemisia 
arts and sciences, your local baronial and or charter groups, or just reach out to Kingdom Moaz, uh, her mistress. Uh, yep. Magdalena. Magdalena. I almost said her mundane name, which, you know, at this point, it all bleeds together. It all just crosses It really over. does. Um, Majesties, we also have business with another member of your populace. We do. We okay. do. Man, it's like, <laughs> like we're busy now. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. You guys get together one time, although very appropriately all masked up and social distancing, and suddenly we've got all this stuff to do. It's so bizarre. Uh, right. Their Majesties would call before them Rachel Kleinmuller. <laughs> Hello, oh, adopted one. I don't know if you can really get the nepotism award for not being from their loins. <laughs> <laughs> There may oh, and or may not be a small dispute as to whether or not Isabeau is Rachel's mother or Damon's mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been going on since Rachel could literally speak. <laughs> so, um, that's, I've known you your whole life. That's, that's how long this joke has been going on. I uh, would go up and give Isabeau a hug. Rachel would go, my mama, push me away. <laughs> and it started there, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> but that's not why you're here today. I just had to get my I would in. hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Officially, no. <laughs> okay. It's now back on the rails. Oh, rails. Rails. What rails? I don't know. Wherever this train's going. Oh, yeah. Train's off the track. <laughs> So we, um, we saw a very beautiful example of your scroll talent uh, just recently here. Um, and you have been growing in your, your different areas of the arts pretty rapidly over the last couple of years. There's been some beautiful jewelry work that you've done. You did a beautiful piece for us that we absolutely are going to get out at some point here. <laughs> stupid lockdown um, and we uh you just you're just growing and growing and learning and pushing um and we love to see that and we love to encourage it to continue and uh and we felt like we needed to recognize those efforts yeah and it's great to see even through the sweet sweet nepotism that <laughs> happens that you are finding your, your own foothold in, in the SEA, which is um, one of the big problems that we see in so many people that are brought up in it, is that they have trouble finding their, finding their place and finding a place that they, they can be them. And you are doing a wonderful job of that. Okay, Thea. Proclaim to all unto whom these letters come. Cease your efforts and pay heed to the words of the monarchs of beautiful Artemisia, Damon and Veronique. The order of the golden maple leaf was established in the ancient times to honor those subjects of Artemisia who have shown exemplary efforts in the advancement of the arts and sciences. Thus, it does please us to pluck the noble Rachel Kleinmuller from amongst our populace and acknowledge her surpassing skill in the fiber and metallic arts by creating her a companion of the golden maple leaf. Let none dare contest our will in this matter as it is well and justly done, attested to by our hands this ninth day of January, Anno Societatis 55, being the year 2021 Gregorian. Damon Rex Artemisia, Veronique Regina Artemisia. Thank you. Just another, just a small token of our appreciation for everything that you're doing. And we expect you to continue to learn and grow. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> or the newest member of the Golden Maple Leaf, Vivat. 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 Vivat.
I believe their excellencies of Sentinel's Keep would like to address the court this morning. Please. Good morning. Uh, thank you, your majesties. Thank you for uh, all the populace who have joined us to say uh, goodbye temporarily to uh, uh, Baron and Baroness uh, Till and Isabeau. You've uh, made us tear up already this morning. Thank you so much. You smudged my makeup. It's a dreadful thing. Um, we look forward to seeing everyone soon. Uh, we have no real big business. We just want to say we love you all. We miss you. Um, we will have a spring feast. Uh, you'll see some uh, information coming up soon. It'll be virtual, of course, but uh, we'll make it, you know, as awesome as Artemisia makes it. Our, our, all of our events. Uh, that's all that we have, Your Majesties. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I uh, just wanted to go with two small apologies and disclaimers. One is in this format, the way that we can talk to Fia Meta, is, our Herald is through the, through the magic phone box. So um, I am fussing with that a little bit today. I apologize. I can usually hide it better when we're under the different Zoom circumstances. <laughs> and the second one is that I'm, my foot looks all weird because I managed to break a bone in my foot on Christmas Eve. So um, just trying to do epic for the daughter stuff tried to break his toe off <laughs> just saying but it, it, it's way back there that i tried to break it off so it's a thing so yeah so i'm in the boot for a while and just apologizing for the weirdness of the day majesty please endeavor to stay completely intact in one full package until we are all able to get together in person. Uh, I'm sure the rest of the kingdom agrees with me. We would like you to keep all of your appendages attached. Right. So our obvious well wishes to his majesty that he can ditch that suave looking boot there. <laughs> Fancy footwear coming to you live from the crown of Artemisia. Your majesties, you know what's also fancy here in our kingdom? Challenges. Challenges? <laughs> That's right, Artemisia. It's time for another Griffin challenge. I know we took a small break. We're rotated a bit and we didn't have one over the holidays, but today kicks off our next challenge. And what is it you ask? It is Griffin love. Calm down now. Calm down just a bit. Griffin love, Artemisia. It's, it's really working, Majesty. <laughs> I'm just going to say that with the boot all together, I feel like I've seen it all here in virtual court. Uh, Artemisia, starting today, Griffin Love will be going until February 13th at the uh, love themed event. Um, we are doing courtly tokens of love. Make a favor, make a period Valentine, do something special for the people you love and or cherish in your life. Uh, you can make one, you can make a lot. You can do spread the love wherever you like. Remember, it's like medieval and Renaissance times. Share the plague. Wait, no, hold up, back that up. Don't <laughs> share the plague. I'm gonna absolutely say that her majesty uh, has that now retracted her most perfect, which is don't lick your friends. Uh, remember, good people, information about Griffin Love, Griffin Love tokens will be posted later today, but a new challenge in the kingdom, courtly love, it's a beautiful thing, coming live to you right here in Artemisia where we, uh, we put the attractiveness back in footwear. And... <laughs> I love the cat, the cat that just is like, hey, I'm here, guys. So, uh, Majesties, with that, though, uh, you have business with another member of your populace. Yes. Their Majesties would call before them Thorhall.
I. We know you didn't do it. Well, okay, okay. Never mind. We're done. <laughs> um, as uh, as you find is uh, when recognition comes, it comes in waves, and when you are um, showing growth and improvement in the way that you have been, it's seen by seen by many. Um, so yeah, so you're not only getting baronial recognition today, you're also getting kingdom recognition. Um, you, you have grown um, so much and your pursuit of the, of the fighting arts is um, expansive and growing larger and larger. And your understanding of what's, what's going on, picking up the ability to teach and just your fighting in general was something that we wanted to recognize. Fia? One and all hear these words. We, Damon, King of Artemisia and Veronique, Queen and Noble Inspiration send greetings. On many occasions, we have witnessed the courtesy, valor, and prowess of Thor Hall the Hunter. In recognition of these qualities, we name him Defender of the Citadel. By this grant, we affirm his right to bear arms, and we encourage him to continue his good works on and off the field of combat in testimony whereof we have set our hands this ninth day of January, Anno Societatis 55, being the year 2021 Gregorian calendar, Damon Rex Veronique Regina. Um, I know you are very familiar with this award as I've uh, told, stated several times as the second person, second Yuri, I still see you, <laughs> second person to receive this award in the, um, in the kingdom. So our grant level award comes with the title of Lordship. And as- Is that your boat? <laughs> um, as one as one of my guys, you know, I'm harshest on on you guys. So know that this does not come lightly, and this is very well deserved. Thank you, Lordship Thorhall. <laughs> For the newest defender of the Citadel, Vivat. 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 Majesties, their excellencies of Griffin's Lair have uh, words this morning for your court. Yes, please. I know it takes a second for them. It's all good. You have us blocked on camera. Oh, well, that would be why. There you go. Nope. Aha! There you go. Your Majesties, uh, maybe address your report. Greetings, everyone. Uh, it's so good to be seen by everyone again. Um, I would like to say thank you so much to Till and Isabeau for being such excellent representatives of Bronze Helm. Um, I'm deeply saddened that we were unable to participate with you this year in person. We, we really looked forward to going up to Bronze Helm and spending time with you all. Um, we would like to announce that uh, we'll be having a little baronial court next Saturday morning at 1030. We will be uh, selecting a new baronial bard at that time. Uh, you're more than welcome to join us. We'll be on Facebook broadcasting live. Um, this is just a baronial deal. So uh, please join us if you can and see the wonderful performances that have been submitted for our baronial bard. Uh, the overall winner of the competition will receive a Boots by Boamon gift certificate and the obvious baronial winner will become our baronial bard for the next 
year. Uh, other than that, I hope everyone enjoys the day and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone in person as soon as we possibly can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, your excellencies of Griffin's Lair. Majesties, it's been a busy, busy day, but you have business with another member of your populace. Uh, with your permission, Majesties, I would call before you Ulrich von Violet. Like we say, when recognition comes, it comes in waves. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we haven't truly seen you guys in almost a year, at least in this particular setting. So it does take a little bit. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> Good answer. That nepotism is well earned. Okay. <laughs> So you are here because, why are you here? You are here because, no, I, I do. <laughs> you are here because- We haven't gotten to mess with people like this. I know, it's so right nice to like have people. While. This is super fun. So. <laughs> like this is, this is, sorry, I'm really enjoying this. Um, you are here because your work in the arts has also absolutely exploded. You're doing amazing work freely and, and really without a whole lot of thank you. Um, and your artistic skill is just amazing. I, I want to be, I want to be an artist when I grow up. <laughs> so you're going to teach me. <laughs> yeah. Um, once again, when it comes in waves, kind of like what I said about your sister <laughs> adopted that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's amazing to watch you grow. Um, you have literally been around in one form or the other as long as I've been in the SEA. <laughs> um, to watch you, um, watch your arts grow and watch you start to excel in the heavy, on the heavy field and watch you find, find Ulrich in the midst of all this, um, still being enthralled in, in this for as long as I have is amazing to watch you grow and change. So we just wanted to give you the small token of recognition for the way that you have grown in the arts. Bia? Duty to pay honor where due is impressed upon all rightful monarchs. More than that is a joy for a king and queen to recognize talent and skill among their populace. Know that we see the hills and valleys of the land of Artemisia have, wait, sorry, have cast upon them things of great beauty made as they are by the skill of a single being. When such does happen in our fair, re fair realm, we, Damon and Veronique, take heed and forsaking our other pastime, hasten to marvel at the glory laid before us. It is with appreciation for his skills in his talent with a brush that we honor one such artisan whose work has greatly pleased us. During our reign, do we recognize the artistry of Ulrich von Violet and name him a companion of the Golden Maple Leaf. Uh, Anasasiatatis 55, Damon Rex, Veronique Regina. We have been minded to do this since we saw you show at Princess's Prize a year ago. It just is the first opportunity that we've had to, to be able to do so. Mm -hmm. And as with your sister, we expect you to continue to grow and, uh, and find some new hobbies and hone your art. There we go, that's the words. What's your card? Words are hard. Words are hard. <laughs> Congratulations, it's well deserved. Thank you. For the newest member of the Order of the Golden Maple Leaf, Vivat. 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 Vivat.
Hi. Majesties. Although today has seen the end of the first baronial reign in the fair barony of Ronsheim, rest assured there have been called others to take up the mantle of Till and Isabeau. At this time, may I call forward as it pleases your majesty, Sir Killian Calloway and Mistress Penelope Highfield. Please. Hi guys. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. Oh good, too late now. <laughs> Not for you. You no longer get, get a choice. <laughs> We are ecstatic over the fact that you guys get to be our second Baron and Baroness in the Barony of Bronze Helm. Um, we have watched you both grow so much over, over the years. It's absolutely astounding. Admittedly, he's grown more than you, but he had a lot more to try to catch up. <laughs> I have to take my shots when I got, get them. <laughs> Um, we obviously know that you are right to be the second Baron and Baroness of Bronze Helm. We know that you will do great things with this barony and fill the um, large, large shoes that was set forth before you. Is your herald ready? Hi, state your name. Hi, oh. Sir Killian. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a sec. Whoa. Sorry, I thought you had something else before that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we will hear your oath at this time. Mm -hmm. Hi, state your name. Hi, Sir Killian Calloway. Of Bronzetown, do this day. Bronzetown, do this day. Pay homage and fealty. Pay homage, homage and, and fealty. To the king and queen. To the king and queen. Of these Griffin lands. Of these Griffin lands. Of Artemisia. Of Artemisia. To be their voice of truth. To be their voice of truth. Hands of justice. Hands of justice. And tip of the spear. And tip of the spear. In times of plight. In times of plight. We will watch over these lands. We will watch over these lands. As the immortal eyes of the Griffin. As the immortal eyes of the Griffin. And met out swift. And met out swift. And steady justice, and steady steady justice. justice. In, your name. in your name. This do we swear. This, this do we swear. swear. With our honor and chivalry. With our honor and chivalry. So say I. So, so say I, I Sir Killian Cowboy. Hearing these words, we, Damon, and we, Veronique, promise to support you in any way that we can, protect your lands as they are our own. Mm do anything in our earthly power to make sure that you thrive and flourish till these mighty mountains fall, till the sky crumbles, till these crowns pass from our heads and beyond. Uh, we place these chains upon you with the bronze helm beyond on them that would represent the weight of what you're doing, where you are from, and so others may easily recognize you going forward.
Now the thing. Thing I thought I'd never have the opportunity to do. We, Damon. And we, Veronique. Name you Killian and Penelope, the second landed Baron and Baroness of Bronze Helm. Thank you. Please join our court. Please, yes. Please join our court. Please be comfortable. Would you like to say thank you, that? Your Excellencies? <laughs> thank you. Uh, yes. Yes. Would you like to open your court? Yes. Yes. Take the handle. Here it opens the first court of the Barony of Ronsell under. Baron and Killian Calloway and Baroness Penelope Highview. <laughs> well, so this is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a thing. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you all for being with us. For those of you who were able to be with us and with us on the magic box, for those who weren't able to be here in person, we look forward to a day when we can be back in person again. It can't come soon enough. And uh, for our first order of business, I believe we have our champions. Uh, so we'd like to bring up the, the few champions that are, might be here, as well as those that are joining us remotely. Their Excellencies, we call forth now His Lordship, uh, Thor Hall the Hunter, and Her Ladyship, Rabus Al Tayyip. Well, please. <laughs> they even have their devices on. <laughs> we would all, they would also call forward uh, Ivan Zimdo. Zimdo. Welcome. Was Ivan on? Yeah, he was really. He was earlier. Yeah. Who's there? Okay. So this has come as a bit of surprise to at least one of you. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't announce the uh, Bardic champion prior to actually calling Ramut up. So. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, we know that all of you will do your best to to be our champions over the coming year. And of course, that means that you will be responsible for hosting the tournament of your respective uh, fields next year. Uh, at the, this time, we would have you do your champions votes which we have prepared. You guys have the sword? That's on the table. It is on its way. It is on its way. We won't touch. We don't have a... Well, we'll have to work on it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, for our parts, we will do our best to support you in any way we can. Okay. Uh, and we do have a. They're coming. Okay. These will be your signs of station as champion. Wear them to try. And speak up. Speak up. More volume. These will be your signs of station, and we hope that you'll wear them with pride and know that we are there to support you. Thank you both.
Thank you both for working so hard. You're amazing, as always. And we look forward to the next couple of years and the next year with both of you behind us and with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Three cheers for the our incoming champions. Vivant! 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 And of course you, Ivan. Thank you so much. I don't know if you're online, but uh, we will be coming around with uh, scrolls and your regalia. Thank you. Uh, oh, one other thing I did want to mention that we will be announcing the ANS champion this evening at evening court at 5 p.m. We're going to be doing that remotely on the magic box of Zoom. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the entries today. I've seen a few so far and I'm enjoying them. And thank you. If you haven't got yours posted, please do so as soon as possible. Aside from that, we are looking forward to the start of this uh, wonderful ride and we're hoping to be able to reach the bar that was set insanely high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we shall strive to do our best for sure. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellencies. Welcome. Here I close the course of the Baron and Baroness Penelope Your Majesties, uh, we do have one uh, bit of business uh, to continue on with, but I do feel that we, and I personally, as your herald, was a bit remiss. Good populace for the newest Baron and Baroness of Bronzehelm, Killian and Penelope Vivat. Vivat. Vida Vat. Vivat! 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 Yay! All right, I feel better that we got that taken care of. Uh, Your Excellencies, congratulations and welcome to the work. Uh, your Majesties, I believe you have business with yet another member of your populace. It's the big one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That one. Before we do, do that. you want to? Yeah, let's do that one. Before we no, do here, that. Just a sec. Oh, one more thing. Okay. One more thing. Sure. So, <clears throat> this last year has been, um, <clears throat> it's been a learning curve. It's been uh, a new experience for everyone. Um, and, Around late spring last year, uh, the royals from across the known world had established a, a group where we could meet and discuss things and, um, and kind of help one another figure out how to navigate all the crazy uh, that this pandemic has thrown at us from how to reimagine our events to how to keep people safe, um, kind of just a, a sounding board for, uh, for the royals and in that group, uh, there became a discussion about how to recognize those people that are, are going above and beyond, those people who are keeping things running, who are matching the curve and learning, who are allowing us to, to continue doing what we do, even if it's not in the way that we choose to do it. Um, and as such, uh, there was a, a token established um, and gifted across the known world. This is something that has been being given in every kingdom. Uh, it doesn't have the same name in every kingdom, but it does have the same, the same feeling. Um, and so what they have called it, I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that. Oops. Well, yeah, the back's cool too, but the front's better. <laughs> um, this they are calling the Gradiate Corona. Corona. I'm pretty sure I butchered that because it's Latin and I don't speak Latin. Uh, but basically by the thanks of the crown. 
And for us, we have discussed it at length and we feel that this needs to go to what we have affectionately started calling our pandemic warriors. Our people who are here day in and day out who are giving of their time and their knowledge and um, or just cheerleading along the way. Just, uh, hey, how's it going? Hang in there. Hey, you're doing a great job. Um, people that have stepped up to extraordinary circumstances, many of them voluntarily, as His Majesty mentioned, we've done investitures all year long. And each and every one of those set of people has voluntarily walked into this um, unique and epic situation. Uh, some of the rest of us found ourselves there quite by accident, but uh, are are very thankful for the people and and the, uh, the the people and the resources that that keep us going and the patience and the kindness that we've been granted as we learn something new literally every day about how to do this. Why this is important and why our Herald knows nothing about it is uh, the first person that we would like to recognize this. With this is going to be Miss Fiametta. She has been an absolute rock for this kingdom. Um, where we are at, we would not be without her. She has learned everything there is to learn about Zoom and other editing programs and different ways to get closed captioning. Um, none of which she had any need to know before she foolishly said, yeah, sure, boss, I'll be your herald. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go places and hang out behind you and talk to you and hang out or not actually be in the same room with you for a year and just look at you through the computer. She, but you have absolutely thrived in it. Yes, she's done a fantastic job. She absolutely runs everything there is to run about our courts. She keeps the schedule. She keeps all of us crazy ducks in line which is way more work when you're in a virtual setting in case you're curious. It's bad in person. It's way worse when you're all somewhere else. Um, she goes with the flow. She covers amazingly for us if and when we you know, forget to do well, all the things. Uh, the challenges have been almost entirely driven by her and a brilliant idea. Uh, that was a, hey guys, can I do this? And we're like, yeah, sure, we're right behind you. Yeah. And um, she has been just an absolute godsend and we would not be where we are without her. We would not be doing as well as we are without her. And we cannot offer her enough thanks. Um, keep, keeping engagement in this time of not being able to go to events and see people and the challenges and just we're, we're doing what we do to uh, keep the kingdom of Artemisia here. And she is a large part of that. Because it would not look nearly this good or be nearly this well organized without her if we were left to our own devices to try to figure this stuff out. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it seems that, like at least once a, once a rain, we get an opportunity to tell you how, how much we appreciate you and how much we're happy that you're in our lives. And this... This is the first first of these we'd like to give out, and you were between the votes. You were unanimously the first person who was getting one. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> jerk face majesties. Uh, we hey, th this time when we got you in the in court, uh, you didn't have, almost have to punch anybody though. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, <laughs> We still have business to do. <laughs> <laughs> We're crying. You should be crying. All right. Crying all around. Thank you, Your Majesties. That is, that's, that is. Well, of course, we need three cheers. Oh, okay. I mean, um, three, three cheers three for cheers. me. <laughs> we won. We won. We won. We won. We won. We won. Well, whew. thank you, your majesties. Um, and thank you, Artemisia. I'm only doing it because I love you all and I miss you all. And this is the way that I feel like I can bridge that gap and make sure that there is something for all of us to come back to. So 
I love you all. <sighs> Woo! Okay. Now we can do the thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I can go back to work. Woo! Now back straight back to work, girl. All right. Thank you, Your Majesties. Thank you, everybody. And but, Your Majesties, we we do have uh, a bit of business with another person in your populace. Uh, with your permission, Majesties, may I call for Thrummoot? Please. <laughs> Lady, welcome back. Hi. So Hi. Those, those of you who don't know, Ramut is not the biggest fan of being in front of in front of people, but this is literally the smallest court we could get <laughs> <laughs> to physically call you in front of us here. So your your outgoing friends over there. I don't know if they were like peeking in our notebook or if they're just <laughs> psychic. I don't really know what their deal is, but I'm pretty sure they're stepping all up in our business because all day long, it's been stepping all up in our business. Just saying. That's why we got rid of them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like they do something, we look at each other. Hey, we're doing kind of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so we had to get rid of that. That's cool. Great line. You, my lovely, lovely friends. Um, I have known you for a hundred years. And in those hundred years, you have been nothing but kind and giving and courteous and caring and fantastic. And you, <laughs> you have this horrible helium hand, which often <laughs> leaves you on the wrong side of the 15 scrolls that you're supposed to finish the night before the event while simultaneously sewing the beautiful garb that his majesty and I are wearing <laughs> with plans for four more sets of garbs, teaching a class because a laurel, not yours, told you to. <laughs> Apprenticing to a laurel, trying to narrow down exactly what your place in the SCA is, when in reality, your place is all the places. You are forever serving, you are forever arting, you are even getting into the martialists and, and starting that track. Um, you, you really are all things, the SCA, and your joy for it is contagious. Uh, you, I think, would recruit the entire world if they would let you. <laughs> all someone has to say is, ooh, pretty caller, and they know the entire history of it and how to make it and the four YouTube videos <laughs> that teach you out. <laughs> Uh, you, my friend, are just, you're just everything. And we can count on you. You have been there every step of the way for us, which not as consistent as your former employers, but <laughs> for quite the long term. Um, and we just, we can't even begin to tell you how much we love you. So I've knowing you at least 101 years. Her Majesty's knowing you 100. <laughs> um, since uh, I was a, a punk ass kid, <laughs> barely in the SCA maybe, I'm not even sure. She it probably was, recruited you. Uh, not quite, but <laughs> close. Um, yeah, I've known you through this whole big crazy journey. And one of the joys that we get is being king and queen, is being able to recognize people. And this is definitely not a way of recognition that you work towards. It's a way of recognition that has fallen upon you. Um, so at this time, we Damon. And we Veronique. Would like to recognize you as a Baroness in our court. <laughs> <laughs> And all the right, responsibilities and titles that come with it. Um, we knew that you would have very specific thoughts on a, on a cornet. So we have not gotten you one, but we will do whatever we can to assist you in getting the one that's made perfectly for you. Um, 
And as an added bonus, one of your many, many artisan friends across the kingdom, when she found out that you would be receiving this honor, insisted on doing your scroll <laughs> in stained glass, <laughs> which is on its way here. We hope to have it today, um, but we will definitely make sure it makes it safely into your hands. And this is the scroll that Malcolm has designed for you. Thea. It is the privilege of the crown to recognize certain nobility and we see this nobility in Ramut al Tiabia. Therefore, do we, Damon and Veronique, bestow upon her the right to style herself Baroness of our court and grant unto her such honor and respects as befit a person of great worth and courtesy. Done this ninth day of January, Anno Societatis 55, being 2021 of the Common Reckoning. This beautiful stained glass award by Her Excellency Malkin. Through the years, we have spent a lot of time discussing and figuring out the best way to recognize everything that you do. Um, this is a way that we could do it um, by our right without contestation. And just a way to so everyone else um, can recognize how wonderful you are. Make it so much more difficult for you to hide out in a corner <laughs> <laughs> uh, without standing out as much as you normally do. <laughs> we, we are going to make sure you're seen whether you like it or not. <laughs> and you can mostly not like that. <laughs> okay. Three cheers. Good populace and kingdom of Artemisia for the newest Baroness of the court. Vivat! 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 Yay! <laughs> hey. Oh. Majesties, it has been a day of surprises and uh, surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Majesties, final words for the court today. Um, thank you everyone who's been here, um, even with the limited number of people that we've had here today. It's been wonderful. Um, thank you everyone for being responsible, for being safe for doing everything we can to, to make it that we can gather in large groups in the future and see each other. Um, thank you for being the heroes. Thank you for being the leaders. Thank you for doing what's right, even though it's not easy. And um, thank you for loving what we do. Um, it's one of the things that you can, that you remember, but you kind of forget through Zoom. Um, it's the emotion that we put into what we do, the love that we put into everything that we do, that spread across the kingdom and the known world. Um, thing, thank you to the society for letting us be a small part of that. Majesty? As usual, we, we love you. We miss you dearly. Um, if nothing, today has really reminded me just how much I miss this um, and we so hope that it's it's coming soon um, do not lick your friends it's still not okay. <laughs> um, and be kind to yourselves and others we're we're living in a very crazy very uncertain world right now and everyone uh, everyone could use a little extra kindness and a little extra compassion so do remember when you get the option to just be kind. Yeah, I think that's what we got. Yeah. Good populace, do not forget that tonight there will be a perennial court with their excellencies, Killian and Penelope. Make sure you tune in for that. Also, make sure you go check out the uh, classes for the 
for the day, Her Excellency Ramut has scheduled a bunch of things. So <laughs> learning for everybody. Make sure you check those out. And as always, Artemisia, as their majesty have said, don't lick your friends, be kind to each other. Herein closes the court of their majesties, Damon and Veronique, king and queen of all Artemisia. Long live the king. Long live the king. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. Long live the sovereign lands of Artemisia. Vivat! 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 Vivat.